we developed a multi-hole self-expandable metallic stand joined with MI Tech. We usually call this stand by the shortened name multi-hole stand. This video explains the development and features of the multi-hole stand. We think that the currently available biliary self-expandable metallic stands have some problems. Basically, there are two types of biliary stands, the uncovered self-expandable metallic stand and covered self-expandable metallic stand. The uncovered stand is prone to occlusion due to tumor growth into the stand. The covered stand obstructs the branches of the hepatic ducts and is difficult to use in the hilar area. Fully covered stands have a risk of migration. In order to solve these problems, we developed a multiple self expandable metallic stand, or multiple stand for short. We made a prototype of the multiple stand in 2006 by altering the diamond stand. The multiple stand has many holes on its cover and each cell has one hole. We performed an experiment with the handmade prototype of the multiple stand. We placed the multiple stand in chicken meat and observed the inside of the stand with a slim endoscope. An uncovered stand and a fully covered stand were also placed in chicken meat. The photo on the left shows an endoscopic view of the inside of the uncovered stand. The photo shows the wire in the stand bites into the chicken tissue. The photo on the right shows the inside of the fully covered stand. The inside of the stand is smooth. The photo in the middle shows the inside of the multiple stand. The multiple stand seems to be a hybrid between the uncovered and fully covered stand. We performed another experiment with the multiple stand in 2006. We made a special stand that was divided into three parts. As in the figure, the left one-third portion of the stand was the multiple type of stand, the middle one-third portion of the stand was a fully covered type, and the right one-third portion of the stand is a bare type of stand. We placed this stand in chicken meat and injected indigo carmine solution at various points from outside of the stand. Number 1. We injected indigo carmine on the uncovered stand part. Number 2. We injected on the fully covered stand part. Number 3. We injected on a whole of the multiple stand part. Number 4. We injected on the wire of the multiple stand part. When we injected indigo carmine on the uncovered part of the stand, the indigo carmine solution flowed directly into the stand. When we injected indigo carmine on the fully covered part of the stand, the indigo carmine solution flowed along the outside of the cover and did not flow into the stand. When we injected indigo carmine on the whole of the multiple stand part, the indigo carmine solution flowed into the stand through the holes. When we injected indigo carmine on the wire of the multiple stand part, the indigo carmine solution flowed between the meat and the cover and into the stand through the holes. We show an illustration of a multiple stand that had been inserted in a bile duct. The silicone cover of the multiple stand is soft and elastic. 
Therefore, when a molecule stand has been inserted in a bile duct, bile will flow along the outside of the cover and flow through the holes into the inside of the stand. Therefore, when a molecule stand has been inserted in a bile duct, bile will flow along the outside of the cover and flow through the holes into the inside of the stand. In 2015, we developed a new version of the multiple stand in collaboration with MITech. This stand has a hole in each cell and has a lasso for easy removal of the stand. We can easily remove the stand if a problem with the stand occurs, such as cholangitis that develops just after the stand is deployed. We performed an experiment with the new multiple stand on a resected swine biliary system. We placed the stand in a resected swine by duct. This movie clip shows cholangiography of the swine by duct. The multiple stand was deployed in the bifurcation of the swine bile duct. This glangiography movie clip shows that the contrast medium flow through the holes of the multiple stand. Then the contrast medium flowed out through the stand. We injected contrast medium again. Even though the multiple stand was placed in the bifurcation, the contrast medium flowed through the holes of the multiple stand without any problems. When a multiple stand was placed in an obstructed distal bidock, as shown in the lab picture, the small holes of the multiple stand reduced the tension of the cover and the metallic wire was affixed to the wall of the bile duct. In addition, micro ingrowth into the small holes of the multiple stand would prevent migration of multiple stand. Also, the small holes of the multiple stand may allow pancreatic fluid to flow into the stand, thereby preventing pancreatitis. Also, the elastic cover and small holes of the multiple stand may facilitate the flow of pancreatic fluid, and the risk of pancreatitis with multiple stands may be lower than that with fully covered stands. It is sometimes difficult to perform reintervention on a biliary stand that is obstructed by tumor in growth. Endobiliary radiofrequency ablation RFA may become more effective and safer in patients with multiple stand placement 
than in those with uncovered stem placement. The insulated silicon cover of the multiple stem protects the surrounding tissue from thermal injury. The heat resistant temperature of silicon is over 150 degrees Celsius. In conclusion, we developed the multiple stand with MI Tech. The multiple stand is a hybrid type stand between an uncovered stand and a fully covered stand. In our experience, even when a multiple stand is placed in the high low area, the risk of hepatic branch obstruction is low. We feel that the migration risk of the multiple stand is also low. In addition, Reintervention with endobiliary RFA is safe and effective in patients who have undergone multiple stem placement due to the silicon curve of the multiple stem. The multiple stem placement will become a new treatment method for bile duct structures.